Well, people always say home is where the heart is and there's no place like it. This statement will ring true for thousands of students, alumni and supporters of Winston-Salem State University next week. The historically black university is celebrating its 130th year of being a community staple for the triad during their homecoming. And we have two guests joining us live now to share all of the exciting things going on at WSSU next week. Dr. John Capel, Assistant Dean of Campus Life and Orlando Mitchell, Director of Campus activities and sorority and fraternity life. Good morning. Thank you for being with us. Good morning. Good morning. So Dr. Capel, we will uh, start with you. Share how you have noticed WSSU evolve and grow over the last 130 years. Well, since 1892, the campus started the Slater Academy. We have come a long way in promoting education as a traditionally HBC or historically black college and university. Um, we're about 5,000 students strong at this time, so that's it's a great showing of our students, our community. Um, we have definitely grown over the years. Our students continue to grow and evolve. Our motto of enter to learn, depart to serve really resonates with our students. And then our students want to be here. They want to learn as much as they can and then be able to take that education and do amazing things and serve their communities after they graduate. So, you know, 130 years, that is amazing. And, and the phrase we use in our campus, it's, it's homecoming, y'all. <laughs> I like it. And Orlando, describe what homecoming at WSSU is like. What makes it so special? Homecoming at Western Southern State University is absolutely amazing. I've been at the institution since 2008, and it gets better and better every year. There's nothing like an HBCU homecoming, and Western Salem State University absolutely does it well. So we're encouraging. It's an amazing event for for. Family, friends, community, students, alumni, we want everybody to participate and experience this amazing opportunity to see us. And it's yes. not just the homecoming game. You know, there's so many fun events happening. Orlando, share with us what other events that people can take advantage of. So um, I'll start with our students. Our students um, schedule for homecoming on Monday. We have the, um, the uh, comedy show. Tuesday, we're having a fashion show. Wednesday is actually the actual founding day for Winston-Salem State University, where we're celebrating 130 years. And that's also the crowning of our beautiful Miss and Mr. Winston-Salem State University, Chelsea Pratt and Treshawn um, Weeks. And on Thursday, we have our all-white party. On Friday is the step show. Come on, Greeks. And then Saturday <laughs> is the parade and the game. Um, Sunday, this coming up Sunday, we kick it all off with the lightning design, the homecoming sign, which will be on the campus, and where we're doing fireworks and the whole nine. So Winston Salem will be lit up red. This coming Sunday is when everything kicks off. Yes. Oh, great! And then all week long. Mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent. Now, Dr. Cabell, talk to us about WSSU's impact on our local community. Um, we have, uh, you know, we're part of the community. Winston-Salem State is an icon in this area. When you know you see him, Mr. Mitchell wearing red accent on his shirt, I'm wearing red. That's our school spirit showing out right there. Um, so we have a couple of community engaging events like our vendor fair that's taking place on Thursday and Friday during homecoming. We call it the Greasy Red Spoon Vendor Fair. And that will play, take place on both of those days where we'll have a lot of booths set up, food vendors, arts and crafts supplies, um, uh, uh, ways to buy things. We encourage people to come. It's going to be located on our pedestrian walkway right near our Simon Green Atkins statue on campus. So it's right off MLK. Come on by, pick up some things, um, have some food, come meet and interact with some of our students, faculty and staff. We're here. We'd love to see you join us at the Greasy Red Spoon Vendor Fair. And some video we're showing from previous years looks like a great old time. A lot of dancing, a lot of festivities, but this year is extra special because you are celebrating 130 years. Any last minute thoughts Absolutely. before we let you go? Orlando, I'll let you speak. Absolutely. Listen, this is Winston-Salem State University carries the name of Winston-Salem. This is Winston-Salem's homecoming. We want everybody to come and enjoy with us and help us celebrate the 130 years of existence. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And I'll go ahead and say our parade is going to be like none other. We've got over 100 registrants at this point. So we're right. going to start down at 4th and Poplar, make our way down 4th Street over to MLK. And we are going to have just a phenomenal parade with local marching high school bands, local businesses, student organizations, uh, our, our Grand Marshal, our Chancellor, 
uh, Sheriff Bobby Kimbrough, a whole host of uh, guests joining us and VIPs. Um, and we're going to have just community groups. And we want you all to come out and see us to so join us along the parade route Saturday morning starting at 10 a.m. Wow, what well, sounds, sounds fantastic, more than 100 participants. Gentlemen, it's been great to speak with you. We appreciate your time and enjoy next week. And to learn more for you at home about the university and all of the events happening next week, visit wssu.edu to get involved. All right.